everybody, and welcome to the postmortem for Lunar Bastion. In my last devlog, I made some enemies and a cool map, but that was about it, so there was quite a bit of work ahead for me. First, I decided to make the space cannon, since it's going to be a center point of this game. Surprisingly, making the gun was actually pretty hard. I based the gun off this World War II design I found online, and then I made a side profile of the gun which would animate. I took the sprite into Godot and rotated it where I wanted, added some muzzle flash and flare effects, and then finally added a recoil effect. And to do this, I just moved the Earth's position, and then had it tween back to its starting point. After that, I started to make the base and the drill. This is going to be how you mine Moontonium, which is going to be your in-game currency. To achieve all these cool animations, I just use a bunch of tweens and their sprite nodes. This causes the lights to flicker and the drill to move upwards and downwards. Then I made a really simple counter to display your Moontonium and a little sprite to go along with it. Then I made this timer in the top right to show how long you blasted. Speaking of time, I only had four days left to submit my project. The next thing I decided to do was finish creating all the turrets that are going to be in the game. The four types of turrets are machine gun, sniper, shotgun, and rocket launcher. The machine gun has medium range damage and health with a fast fire rate. The sniper has a huge range and does massive damage but has low health and fire rate. The shotgun does medium damage with a short range, has a medium fire rate, and has massive health. Finally, the rocket launcher has medium range damage and health with the added bonus of splash damage. I stored all that data for the turrets in a dictionary in Godot. This made it so I could use the same scene for every single turret in the game. It also made building the UI really simple. All I have to do is select a turret from the checklist and the display button will show all the relevant information. Then I hooked all those up in game and made the space cannon shoot whenever you entered a turret and there you go. I used the same system to make the ordnance. You've got a 100mm shell, which does a lot of damage with a small radius, mortars, which have a huge radius but only do a little bit of damage, tear gas, which has a huge radius and a slow burn that slows down enemies, and then finally, of course, I added health kits to heal your turrets and base. I thought the UI might obstruct the player's view, so I also made a hide unhide tabs button. At this point, I only had two days left, and I had a lot left to do. I decided to make the upgrade system using dictionaries just like I did for the ordnance and turrets. When you select the upgrade tab, you can hover over a turret and it'll light up. You can click on it to reveal its upgrades. The same functionality applies to the base, except these upgrades will affect things like mining speed, ordnance damage, and base health. Now I had three hours left until submissions were due and I was feeling the pressure. I went in my closet and was frantically making some sound effects when my girlfriend found me. Sadly, most of these didn't end up panning out. Finally, I submitted the game just two minutes before the deadline. Obviously, there's a lot I still would have liked to do with this game. Like, for instance, there's no death animations for the turrets or aliens, and they just kind of disappear. There's also no attack animations for the enemy, so they just kind of lock in place. And of course, the upgraded turrets were supposed to look progressively cooler. So the game is out and free to play on itch. I'll leave a link in the description. Please go ahead and check it out and let me know what you want to see in the game, what you didn't like about the game, what you did like about the game. All your feedback is appreciated. Also, if you could please like and comment on this video, it really helps the algorithm out. And if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe for more. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.